Hi everyone, welcome to Car SF. Today we're going to be doing something rather stupid. We're going to be using this to cut this frame in half. Let's go. Okay, so let's see how the frames are actually made inside. Uh, I've started uh, cutting the front there and we'll just carry on and then we'll have a look. Hmm, I seem to have seem to have worn my cutting block down. kind of snapped off. So what I'll do is I'll just keep cutting this up and then we'll see uh, the finished result. Okay so we've finished cutting and uh, we'll clean it up, take it inside and we'll have a look at the construction. Hi guys welcome inside it's time to take you around the inside of the Yolio R9. So we're just going to start off with um, this piece here. So we shall remove it. First of all, we'll have a look at the piece I'm taking off and then we'll have a look at the frame. So uh, straight up, we can notice uh, this piece here looks like it's been added. Looks like it's been added in. That gray piece right there. So let's try and get some light bouncing off of this so we can see any uh, anything that's not right. So as we move along, we can see it's a bit crinkly. Um, I don't know whether that's good or bad. I'm not a carbon fiber expert. Perhaps you can leave comments below and tell me if it's any good or not. I'm just showing you around it. So now we'll have a look at the actual bike. Um, there's that gray piece again. Let's just have a little top down view of that. We move up. I'm not sure what that bit is there. Okay, top one. Doesn't look bad as we move along here. Crinkly again, it looks like just there, there's an air pocket. And it looks like there's one there as well. I can actually feel that one. Okay, we'll go into the bit where the seat is. Let's have a look at that. We'll just go up here. It's only a little piece, it's quite thick. It's quite heavy as well, to be honest. Okay, now we'll have a look at the bit of the frame. So that is where the um, seat clamp is. As we go down. Okay, we'll move into the seat stay. And the first thing we notice when we open this one up is it's got this plastic material in it. It's kind of like uh, really thin. Not sure what that is. It's only in the top part though. So as we go down to the end there, uh, it becomes a bit more solid down at the bottom. We'll have a look on the bike and there it is, this plastic stuff. It's completely um, in that piece. We'll move down there, just get some light, a little bit crinkly and we find this plastic stuff in at the bottom again. Um, inside here, I didn't actually cut into it, it was very thick. Uh, so now we'll have a look at the chain stay. This is where we had the blockage in, remember, and I found something quite interesting. So, as we remove that piece, we can see where it's been glued onto the rest of the bike. And just come up there with some light. 
There we go. So now let's have a look at the actual uh, bike piece. So obviously we feed the cable in through there, it comes through here, and then it gets jammed on this blockage part, and it's not helped by the um, it's not helped by having this big gluey lip in the way. So that falling there is quite fat and that just blocks off the entire the entire route for the cable. That's why I was having lots of problems with it. Just having that floaty bit in the way. That was a hundred percent swear on my life that was in here. That was the bit I could hear rattling around. So now we're gonna go um up so we'll remove this part and we can see some white substance like a filler or something it's a bit uh, crinkly there so we'll put that out of the way uh, these these they're slightly depressed but very minutely but they're right opposite uh, these bolts so I'm not sure what that is I don't think they touch the ends there but so we'll move up and then we can see this white filler stuff I'll just pull this up and there we go that whole void is full of that stuff uh, where that black streak is about one o'clock um, that's my handsaw I had to cut through it with, with a handsaw because the Dremel wasn't touching it pretty much so that is what's underneath there. And now we come to the main section. So let's lift that off, have a look inside. Okay, we'll come down here. Try and reflect it off the, get some light in there. I think there's a little air, little air bit there. There's some more up there. Again, I don't know if it's good or bad. I'm just showing you the inside. So let's have a look uh, over there, around there. That bit seems to be a chaos space. I don't know. Okay, moving up. We've looks like we've got big air bits there. Moving up to the top, still moving up, and we are done. That is the tour around the inside of the R9 with the rattly bit. I haven't done the bars. Um, I haven't done the forks. I'm just doing the frame. So that is the Yolio R9 cut up so you can see inside of it. Now, if you like the channel, please subscribe. That'd be great. Just give me a thumbs up. And we'll see you on the next Chorus House. Take care. Bye.